Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video we'll gonna talk about official Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi. We already have working stable Android Pi ROMs for many Qualcomm triple enable phones in the form of GSI and Semi GSI. But the Pixel Experience ROM is just a normal ROM and not one based on GSI or Semi GSI. So obviously, installation process is pretty straightforward and simple. To download this ROM, go to Pixel Experience ROM web page, select your brand. Under this tab, select your device model. Now I am downloading the latest Pixel Experience ROM for MI Redmi Note 5 Pro Wired, and the current latest build is August 17. So once you have downloaded it, place the ROM zip file onto the internal storage of your phone. Go to custom recovery like TWRP or Red Wolf recovery by holding the volume up and power button together for Redmi Note 5 Pro. First go to wipe tab, advanced wipe, select everything except storage options like internal storage, USB storage or micro SD card options and swipe to confirm wipe. Next go back to home screen, install tab, select the transferred pixel experience ROM file and swipe to confirm flash. And that's it, we are done with installing process, so simple right? Also you don't need to flash a separate GFs package as the Pixel Experience ROM itself has a Google Apps included. If you want to flash a custom kernel or magic for routing, you can do it, but it's up to you. Once the installation is done, reboot the phone to the system. So this is the Google Boot animation. Is the same animation we have seen it on Pixel XL port. This is the initial setup screen. Let me finish setting it up. This is the default home screen with Pixel Launcher. Everything should be working out of the box and you don't need to flash any separate fixes. Now first let's go to system settings, about phone and as you can see Android version is 9, Android security patch level is August 5. Same as Google final release build for Pixel phones. About the launcher features, when you swipe to the left, you have Google search screen. If you long press on empty space on the home screen, you can change home settings, add widgets and change wallpapers. By default, you get normal on screen navigation bar. But if you want to enable the pixel gestures, just go to settings, system, gestures and enable swipe up on home button. About the gestures. You can swipe up on the pill or home button to get the recents menu. Long swipe will get you the app drawer. When you swipe all the open tabs to the right, you get the clear all button. In the slide down under a specific tab to open it, slide up to close it. And when you hit the app icon on the open tab, you can enable the split screen mode. And finally, there is a slider to switch between the open tabs. There is notification panel and quick setting. Quick toggles are secular and style of quick toggles and notification panel is based on device theme. The ROM comes with very minimal apps. You get the MIUI camera app that is a MIA2 port and with MIUI camera you can take pictures, videos. Image stabilization is there and the portrait mode works for both front and rear cameras. FM radio app is there and it works too. This is settings panel with colored icons and this is the search bar at the top. First we have network and internet tab. Everything about network is great. 2G, 3G, 4G, 4G VO LTE works but the native video calling isn't working. In the dual band Wi-Fi option is there too. This is the Bluetooth tab. Pairing with devices is easy. There is no issue with audio or video playback. Beat with calls, loudspeaker or when connected to the Bluetooth. There is a apps and notification tab with recently opened apps on the top. This is an option here to go time spent in the app where you can find the screen on time of all the apps you have used. Next you have notification settings, defaults app where you can change the defaults app for various services and special app access. Under battery tab there is a battery saver mode, you can turn it on automatically at any percentage of your choice. Adaptive battery with slimmest battery usage for its infrequently used apps. You can enable battery percentage on the status bar and below that you can find the battery stats. Next under display tab 
you have brightness level night light works adaptive brightness have no issues sleep timer phone size display size ambient display which is working double tap to wake works by default and under device theme you can set it on to automatically based on wallpaper or you can force it to dark or light and the theming applies to the notification quick setting volume slider and the app drawer only this is the sound tab and there is a separate slider for call volume about the volume slider you have a new volume shadow here by default you can change the media volume you can enable vibrate or silent mode within this volume slider and you can also enable vibrate mode by touching volume up and power button at the same time under security and location you can find fingerprint option setting up is easy and unlocks in about a second you can also add a face unlock via smart lock but you have to swipe up on the lock screen once the system detect your face this is the digital well-being and it's there by default so you don't have to install it manually and with win down here you can enable grayscale which does the entire screen to gray next to the system gestures you have jump to camera swipe up on home button under developer options this is an option called simulate display with cutout which forces a notch display and there are three options to pick all sensors are working fine accelerometer gyroscope magnometer light sensor proximity sensor all works fine gps also works but it will take time for a location lock if you try it from indoors and about benchmarks Antutu version 7 score is 1,16,179, Geekbench score single score is 1,3,3,8 and multicode score is 4,8,4,4. That's it, I hope you guys like that, hit the like button if you find this video helpful and if you guys have any queries and if you have any issues while installing this ROM, do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.